a table contains many tools to model geometric constraints. And for, for example, um, modeling of geometric constraints is facilitated using the feature variables, and you can always also use uh, the methodology of ITAS, the virtual kinematic chain, if you want to model a complex uh, contact situation. Distances between convex objects can be computed using a GAK algorithm, and a library for typical geometrical distances and angles is available. Typically, we don't want to use fixed trajectory in our applications because uh, they are not really flexible against disturbances. Instead, we typically use flexible trajectories. These flexible trajectories are linear combinations of basis functions. Uh, uh, so let's say basis functions multiplied by a feature variable. These basis functions are a function of a progress variable s and they are added to a mean trajectory. And in this way, we can uh, define relatively flexible trajectories. These basis functions can be predefined, such as quotients or B splines, but they can also be generated by programming by demonstration. It's also important that um, these feature variables that um, exist in these linear combinations of these basis functions, that we can impose soft constraints on these feature variables, such that nominally, the trajectory is still the mean trajectory, and only when there are disturbances, we start to deviate. Also, this progress variable is important. We don't make this trajectory in function of time, but we make it in function of a progress variable s, such that we can um, specify the relation between s and time with a separate constraint. And we can accurately specify the exact semantics that we want to have. For example, these constraints can be a soft constraint or a hard constraint, or this can be a position or a velocity constraint, depending on the exact semantics that you want to have when you have disturbances. Another aspect, geometric aspect, of constraints in uh, ETAL is the modeling of a grasp and approach. And for example, if you have an, want to grasp an object with a certain symmetry or a certain surface, you can model this using the feature variables, and in this way, you can easily um, specify the allowable range of these variables and certain desired positions that you prefer if nothing else uh, disturbs the situation. The same thing is true for um, the tool side, uh, the suction cup or the gripper, where you can exploit the symmetries of these devices. And now we see, to start to see the power of the combination of these different uh, eight tassel aspects. On one hand, we combine the flexible trajectories with the grass model for the endpoint constraint of this flexible trajectory. And we have objects in a box. These objects are uh, perceived by a vision system and modeled as spheres. And then, then this sphere has a certain contact model associated with it. And this is applied to uh, the flexible trajectory. And in this way, we can still flexibly react to disturbances and, and while still maintaining the appropriate approach.